And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Fiora. Um, Lulu is one of my favorite champions. It's not necessarily the best champion, just being a 2 3 4 3, um, you know, compared to most other three mana champions being 3 3s and stuff. Lulu doesn't uh, get in combat too well with them. But like I said, it's a really fun champion to play. I like the support mechanic a lot, I enjoy playing support decks. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to have new War Chefs that's now a 2-2 two -two instead of a 1-3. Um, you know, I, I wish War, War Chefs was still a 2-3, but, you know, oh well, it's at least a 2-2. Two -two. So we're going to try that out with our Young Witch and our Lulu and have all of those supporting our different challengers. We got Protégé, Fiora, um, Fleet Feather Tracker for our challengers. A um, bunch of little combat tricks in here like Ranger's Resolve, Rush, um, Sharp Sight, uh, Riposte. And then also some some removal, single combat, concerted strike. I'm gonna try one relentless pursuit in this deck, so that if we're having like the you know if we having like these support stuff, we can like maybe have like a good support attack and then relentless pursuit and then support some more. That could be pretty cool. Um, and that's what we're gonna have some more challengers, reaching dragon. So we'll kind of see how the deck does. You know, it it maybe not the absolute best deck, but it should be a lot of fun to play. So let's let's give it a try. So here we go, Lulu Fiora. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Twist of Fate Fizz. This looks like a cool hand. I'll keep it. We got our champions. And we got one drop, two drop. Ooh, I like that. Rush is a, a good spell at protecting either champion in combat. Okay. I honestly wasn't really expecting them to block there, but we'll just trade one drops, I suppose. Please no get excited. Hooray, no get excited. So I could pass the turn and they waste only two mana. It's probably not, you know, it's it's just two mana. It's probably not worth that. You know, like we get by attacking, we get, you know, one out of three supports for Lulu for leveling up, and of course the six damage in. Wow, I'm super glad we attacked. They still didn't have anything to play. That's pretty surprising. So they must have a lot of Wiggly, Burblefish, Sap, Spray, Fin, Twisted Fate. That must be what their hand's looking like. I'm always up for a round or two. And there's the Twisted Fate. It's only considering denying that. I yeah. For a worthy opponent. No. Dead in their tracks. Because I think they have Mystic Shot, right? So I, I'm, it's worse on my mana by waiting on the deny, but at least I like I force them. You know, I, I get the Mystic Shot out of their hand instead of getting, instead of not getting Mystic Shot out of their hand. Um, but the Lulu works well with the Fiora. How the Lulu can heal the Fiora back. <laughs> them doing that is really good for me. So we get to reheal Fiora. Double stress testing, so they just draw four cards. Wow, one mana draw four is pretty incredible. So I'm probably going to be using the Rush on the Fiora. Yep, there's the Mystic Shot. Of... 
All right, got Twisted Fate out of here before it leveled up. That's big time. So they have two fleeting cards here. Hmm. Played that, discarded suit up. Don't they have some fleeting cards? Huh. Okay. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't really mind 1-1 one, one elusives against Fiora, right? Ooh, Pirate Burn. Pirate Burn's going to be tough because of how aggressive they are. Yeah, Fiora's a really good champion. Yeah, Fiora does throw people off for sure. That's a good champion. Um, I don't think I can wait till turn 5. I do want Rush to go along with Fiora. Ooh. Well, looks like we're kind of all in Fiora. Which, who knows, maybe all in Fiora is... Maybe that'll be pretty good. As I pass again. I'll shoot the wings off a bill Hmm. Do I want to sharp sight block that thing? I guess so. All right, Fiora's at two. Two down. Two down. Because basically Nocturne Fervor is like their one spell usually. This actually could just work out really well for me. Because yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's tough for them to, to play things to attack with. I just, whatever they play, I just kill with the Fiora. And then I, I kind of have the single combat to protect against. Fervor. Their bones are splinter. So if I go repost block, and then they go fervor, that's gonna be that's like where where do I go from there? I guess I go. Yeah, I guess then I single combat here, and then their thing dies. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cause then then I'd go single combat. Oh, and I could just single combat here also. So actually, yeah, so never mind. We're I'm perfectly fine. I forgot, like, yeah. Okay, so I shouldn't have played Fleet Feather Tracker. I should have held up mana still. Yeah, I shouldn't have played that Fleet Feather Tracker. Because if, if I don't play the Fleet Feather Tracker, the game's over, right? Because I just play Relentless Pursuit. I was thinking that I was going to need the tracker and have the tracker fight, but I, I did not need the tracker to fight. There we go, 2-0. Just sometimes you just get Fiora wins. Fiora is incredible. Go hard. Ooh. Go hard can kill a bunch of small units, which is what we have—a bunch of small units. Oh man, the, this would be such a good hand of, you know, Flower Child into Young Witch into Lulu. But can I can I even keep Young Witch? I don't know if I can keep Young Witch, right? Like, because Young Witch just. Dies to go hard. So I don't know if I can even keep that card. But if they... Is there a chance they don't have go hard? There's a chance they don't, right? Don't think I, won't unmake you because I, will. I wonder if I should lead with the Fleet Feather Tracker to try to bait out a go hard with that instead of 
the Young Witch. But then again, on the other side, Flea Feather Tracker could be something that could kill a uh, a Twisted Fate, which could be nice. Ooh. No, that's even worse than go hard. But not really that much worse. It costs five mana, and we reheal the flower child anyway. So it's just an extra. It's an extra four mana to do one damage to the Lulu. So I guess it's not really actually worse. Never lost a fair game or played one. Make I can, I can't just sharp sight and save deny. It's like basically which one would I rather save, sharp sight or deny? I guess I'd rather save save sharp sight. I don't think they'll really have that much time for <clears throat> you know, like basically will they have time for um you know like vengeance and that kind of stuff. But alright, so I, I have two options. Hmm. So I, I can go, like, I attack with both, they block my Lulu, I sharp sight Lulu, and then we Relentless Pursuit and attack again with both. Or I just play the Screeching Dragon that, you know, does all the cool Screeching Dragon stuff, and then that's going to be worse for my Lulu, but we'll just do that. We'll play Screeching Dragon here. I think it's probably good to have Screeching Dragon in play. All right, pulling Elise, because then these trade. Because if, obviously if I pull Twisted Fate, then Elise just kills Lulu. But we, we got back up Lulu, so Lulu dying, not too bad. Hmm. They're down to four. The ball, folks. <laughs> I'm trying, Andre. I've whipped up something special. Where are you at? Five? Whimsies. Guess we're going. Come on, Rib. This makes more sense to do. I can't turn I can't turn this young witch into being five. Yeah, I can't I can't turn that young witch into being a five five no matter what I do. Because I I need the young witch to be in front of the Lulu to level up the Lulu to then turn the next thing into a five five, but I also but you know, but then I need the, the young witch to be after the Lulu to turn young witch into being a five five as far as that's concerned. Puts them to one. Gross. So I gotta play this too. Okay. Here you know. Aww, 
Oh, no, another Fiora deck. This is starting to turn into the more popular and maybe best version of a Fieldios, you know, with, with uh, Fiora as well. All right, prediction has started. So this is going to be a big time test for us. Now, um, we need some challengers. I guess I'm going to get rid of these two. I mean, Rush is a really good quality spell. Like, both of these are really good quality tricks, but obviously we need we need to, like, curve out with our units, though, too. So I guess I can probably only keep one. I'm going to... I'm going to keep Rush. I'm going to Mulligan Sharp Sight. Um, the reason why I want to keep Rush over Sharp Sight is because of the mana here. Like, how we have... We don't have a one-mana card, but we have a two-mana card. So I can keep... I can, like, you know, I have one spell mana here, so then I can, um, I can play War Chefs into, like, Fior and have, like, my one spell mana. Um, I obviously wish I had single combat to fight Zoe, but, they would fall by my blade. or not single combat, sorry, Sharp Sight, you know, they could block the Elusive, but we'll have this. All right, so I do have turn three Fiora. That was a that was a great draw for me. Fiora is pretty awesome. Wow, good play. That was a good play by them. That makes my life worse. So I could just do this. <clears throat> what would be bad about me playing the dragon first? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure, really sure how I get too punished about playing the dragon first. It's going to be more difficult for Aphelios to survive the dragon. Play sharp sight. Sharp sight. Sharp sight. Basically sharp sight. Okay. Um, <laughs> it seems like... Oh, come on. Really tough? Dang. I was going to say, it seems like they've played way more spells than us. But as I was gonna say, they still they still have like more cards in hand than we do, even though they played way more spells. Just because, you know, like their Zoe made a spell, their Aphelios has made two spells, so far. So their next one's Crescendum. Like, what happens if I? Okay, so it's one out of four. If I deny it, does it still does it go to two out of four? I'm just going to play this other dragon. So many moon weapons. I need to play these Bright Seal Protectors first, but if I do, then they get to play all these Moon Weapons. I and mean, Aphelios is not a fair card. My shield is yours. I think, I'm pretty sure we're underdogs here, which is crazy. I 
me do that. I'm really interested to see if this counts towards three out of four or not. Okay, that does not. Cool. They, they still did make another moon weapon, though, with playing just another card. These single combats have been rough. I think I have to do this with the Screeching Dragon. Because I can't... I don't think I can do, like, the Fleet Feather Tracker or, like, one of these things fight their Charger. And then they use, you know, a Sharp Sight, a Sunblessed Vigor, or anything like that, and keep their Charger alive. You know, uh, you know any any card basically to keep their charger alive. Oh man! <laughs> I think Aphelios Fiora may be the. I think that's. I, I'm starting to think that Aphelios Fiora is the best deck in the game, just because like the Demacia because the Demacia two mana spells. You know, getting single combat sharp sight, um, and now you know like the tough card. I'm not sure if you need Zoe. I, I kind of think the Aphelios Fiora, you, between Demacia and Targon, you, prob you probably have just like the best spells to just keep them alive. And yeah, this is, this is over. The big play that my opponent had this game was that that turn three, sharp sight plus single combat, kill my Fiora. That was the the real turning point. Yeah, this is this is over. Dang. GG's. The main thing about playing Demacia with Aphelios is you don't get Boxtopus, but you get amazing spells. So Taric Riven. So they're kind of doing a similar kind of thing. Doing cool stuff. I'm going to mulligan all these. Let's keep Lulu. Let's look for, like, you know, Fiora cheaper cards. Okay, like Warshaw's Fiora. Okay, prediction started. Finally, some action. So we'll see. I mean, if they have if they have like Riven, a bunch of big spells, overwhelm that kind of stuff. This is going to be difficult to win that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I go. So I go Fiora. I go Fiora. They pass. They do not pass. Interesting. Pale Cascade? It's gotta be Pale Cascade, right? The thing is, if I if I don't do anything right now and they just go Taric Pale Cascade, I, I basically lose. Um, or kind of lose. This is not a good spot for me. I can't really do any attacks. My best attack would probably have been War Chef support and challenge Blade Squire. Man, they did have Tarek too. Can only be found within. Yeah, this one's looking very bad. Even a fragment snuffs out lies. Oh, that's a cute picture, Royce. All right, at least that wasn't Pale Cascades. So that's good. Because they, you know, they don't draw two cards. They just got a little blade fragment. That's not as important. Oh, that's a good, good spell. Thank you. Good, good draw. Good draw. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Good draw. Keep only Fiora. See me now. 
She can. She's not, not impressed. impressed. Feel the sizzle. Try me. Hardly fair. Aha. Oh god. <laughs> See, the important thing with all this is that we're leveling up Lulu. Take that trade if they want to trade. Awesome. All right, this is now looking really good. Two turns ago, not so much. Now we just killed both champions. We have a leveled up Lulu in play, and yeah, this now looks good. So we'll see what else they got. So they should have, I guess, just the one blade fragment in hand. Because they played one that Riven got. I think just one blade fragment. No. Bad culling strike. the other way around. Stop! Oh, right, never mind. This is the one that's vulnerable, so I have to do it this way. Probably should have gave the other one vulnerable. No one goes hungry. I guess I could have... Could have done an additional four points of damage. I could, could have, yeah, I could have gone for lethal. Okay. Good thing I didn't. Yeah, good thing I didn't. Um, just single combat those. I don't know. It's just a just a little mountain goat. I'm not really that scared of the mountain goat. Yeah, I should let the I should let the goat live. I mean, I shouldn't kill a goat. Don't want to kill a goat. Let the goat live. Be a good time for that relentless pursuit. Uh oh. Mm. So obviously I'm going to single combat and fight the fangs. I guess I have to do it with the screeching dragon. Because again, if I do it with something smaller and then they have like a transfusion or a pale cascade, anything like that. So I guess I got to do it with the Screeching Dragon. So, you know, I'm trading Screeching Dragon and single combat for Reckoning and the Fangs and a Blade Fragment that they had. Should be okay. Good thing we held on to that single combat though, right? We would have gotten blown out. I was not expecting that. We would have gotten blown out. Um, 
No, you to you to you to you to you two. This is me doing the most amount of damage. Getting all the support stuff first. Cool. Alright, four and one. All right, so not bad. A 4-1 record, only losing to a turn three Aphelios, um, which is, you know, not that easy to beat. But support cards were pretty good. You know, like that's just kind of shows that, that people aren't really necessarily ready for support cards and challengers and stuff like that these days. We had, like, Rush was a really good spell for us, being a, a one-mana burst spell. It did a lot of work. Um, you know, Deny was pretty good. And just, just Lulu. Lulu honestly performed really well. Whether it was healing Fiora or making our other challengers 4-4s, four you know, making like Laurent Protégé or um, Fleet Feather Tracker or anything, any of like those things, making those 4-4s. Four War Chefs was pretty nice. Um, our deck was good. It was a, it was a fun one to play. Um, some faster games. That's always good, getting some faster games in here too. And then, of course, you have just like the brokenness of Fiora, and sometimes you just play Fiora, protect it, and get yourself... A nice Fiora game win. That happens sometimes too. So that's our deck. That's Lulu Fiora. Pretty sweet deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you've been looking for a Lulu deck, which I know some people have asked for um, a Lulu deck, this is what I would recommend for uh, for playing Lulu right now in Ranked. All right, but that's all I got here for Lulu Fiora. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.